so here we are uh, i am going to talk about how an elevated structure design could be done for solar panel mounting structures that can survive extreme wind conditions like the one which chennai witnessed recently chennai which is located in tamil nadu india uh, there was a cyclone which struck us at around 155 kilometers per hour this is the maximum speed we are talking about this happened recently and uh, the cyclone hud hud i don't know how to uh, pronounce it exactly but its top speed was 215 kilometers per hour in the year 2014 and the cyclone fallon which was uh, which hit us with 260 kilometers per hour and the year 2013 and the list goes on and on and uh, one has to realize that these cyclones are basically because of the uh, uh, weather weather uh, conditions uh, which get altered due to the global warming and uh, i am not going to talk more about it i am going to talk more about how do we battle this global warming with the help of solar energy by mounting them on reliable structure designs all right now first step we have to look into a couple of uh, uh, formulas that i have mentioned here these are basically um, i don't know very simple school uh, day formulas formulae uh, so this is first is the pressure which is nothing but the force exerted in a particular area is defined as force uh, pressure and it's measured in newton per meter square then what is energy it's it's uh, calculated by multiplying force times distance times the cosine of the angle uh, between the ground level and the angle at which the object is moving so as we know energy is nothing but the ability to do anything uh, and it's measured in joules or the other unit unit for it is nothing but newton meter and that is how this is so you can see that if this is the object that we are trying to move and uh, this object moves by a distance x along the direction of the force application then the energy is nothing but force times distance and that means that um, the uh, cos of uh, zero is one so we don't have any uh, reduction or increase in the energy but when we try to move an object in a particular angle which is deviated by an angle theta the uh, uh, cos of uh, the angle becomes this thing which means that any value uh, of uh, energy is equal to the cosine of the angle between the point of application and the point to which it moves times the force in the distance this is another formula that is weight which is measured by mass into acceleration due to gravity uh the units m times g and the gravitational constant uh which is 9.8 meter per second square and uh, mass is measured in kilogram just just some just to brief you about the formulas that are be using at most of the times in our uh proceedings all right let's go to the part of uh, design before we go to the design i have to explain you what the structure side view is going to look like so this is the structure side view and uh, as you can see that there are two legs associated in this uh, design the leg aa dash and the leg bb dash and the blue line indicates the solar panels being mounted along this uh, slope now why this slope the slope is meant to uh, give you the uh, maximum efficiency of the panels because the sun has to be perpendicular to these panels to give you more energy output electricity output so uh, we according to chennai it is 13 degree latitude so we make sure that the panels are tilted by 30 degrees and uh, as i have shown some pictures of the installations being done earlier the ll side or i call it as the um uh, uh, the short side sorry the ls side is basically we have six number of uh, panels along this row and six number of panels sorry not the panels six number of legs 
along this uh, axis and six number of legs along this axis. and uh, they are separated by 2.6 meters and uh, we have uh, bolted these uh, with the help of uh, uh, anchor fasteners which are uh, around 8 bolts per uh, leg and uh, similarly there is for each leg there is a small cement block uh, work that we have done civil work uh, and that work extends as one block per uh, leg so that is six blocks of uh, civil weight on this side and uh, around um, uh, six uh, cubes of cement along the uh, B side uh, and uh, these cements are around one cubic feet of uh, density concrete density in it and now let's get into what are we battling for